Hello students of grade 5 and welcome back to your classes. Yesterday we recapitulated chapter 12 that is natural disasters. We learned so many interesting facts about them. I also hope you went through the previous videos that were shared for the same. And as I promised today, we will be having a quiz. Are you all excited for it? Me too. So let's see how much have we retained and how much do we score. I will be eagerly waiting to see your results in the comment box. All the best. So the rules of the quiz are each question is carrying one mark. Don't look here and there and ask your parents. Try to answer it yourself and see where we are standing. So here comes a question one. Which natural disaster can produce the fastest winds on earth? Cyclones, floods, avalanches or blizzards? I'll give you some time to ponder over it. And the answer is Cyclone. Do you know that the Cyclone Ampan, which recently entered India in 2020, caused millions of destruction? The airs, the storm, the wind was very fast. So here comes the next question. Which natural disaster cannot be caused by ships in tectonic plates? Avalanches, earthquakes, tsunami, hurricane. It's an easy one. And the answer is hurricane. While earthquake, volcanic activity and avalanches can be caused by ships in tectonic plates, hurricane originates over ocean and is not affected by them. So here comes the next question. In what country did the strongest earthquake on record occur? We discussed it yesterday. It's an easy one. India, China, US, China. And the answer is China. In May 22, 1960, earthquake off the coast of China measured 9.5 on the Richter scale. It's a huge one with high magnitude. It triggered a tsunami that spread throughout Pacific Ocean and caused about 2,3,000 deaths. Oops, amazing fact, isn't it? Now here comes another question. The upper layer of the earth is made up of core, magma, tectonic plate, or Mantle. Come on, you all know the answer. And the correct answer is exactly tectonic plates. We can see our head in picture that they are the uppermost layer. Next question Which one of these are causes of droughts? Less rainfall, high temperature, dry winds, all of the above. If you have seen the previous videos, it would be a piece of cake for you to answer them. And the correct answer is all of the above. All of these factors 
if they pertain in an area for a longer period of time. They cause droughts. And our next question is which region of India experiences the maximum amount of floods? The northern plains, deserts, plateaus, or coastal plains? Come on, shake your brain. It's an easy one. And the answer is the northern plain. As we can see here in this picture that so many rivers are flowing in this area and during heavy rainfall during monsoon most of them they overflow causing floods. Now we'll move to the other section the next part of our quiz. In this You'll be seeing pictures and you have to identify what you see. These are also carrying one mark. So, the first picture is Identify this instrument. What is the name? It is a seismograph. And it is used to measure the magnitude of earthquake. Excellent. Now the next picture is. It is a natural disaster. And what natural disaster is it? Come on, guess it. And the answer is. Avalanches. They are caused in hilly areas which are covered with lots and lots of snow. And here comes our next picture. Wow, isn't it a beautiful sight to see? Which natural disaster is it? It is. It is volcanic eruption. Do you know which is the largest mountain on earth? It is a volcano. It is called Hawaiian Shield. And here is our next picture. We can see huge waves. We all know which natural disaster is it. Isn't it? And it is called Tsunami. Excellent students. And here is our next picture. An easy one. Which natural disaster it is? Come on, shake your brains. An easy one. Yes, it are. They are floods. Here comes the next picture. An intense one. Can you guess the natural disaster? It recently happened in Australia. We did one of our assignment also on this. Exactly. They are wild fires. I hope you all students attended these questions nicely. Now, honestly, mark yourself and comment the total marks in the comment box. Hope you enjoyed it because I enjoyed hosting it for you all. In our next class, we will recapitulate our other chapters. Till then, be at home and be safe. Thank you so much.